YouTubers, Night Phoenix back again with another base base tutorial video. So hopefully you've been following along with these past tutorials to help you understand the different types of cards and items within the game of base based. Today we will be going through the first turn. Obviously there's quite a bit of setup that's required, but should be fairly intuitive and I hope that you can figure it out without much difficulty. So first, we're going to have three cards placed here, your two leaders and your field card. Remember this is your active leader spot, this is your passive leader spot, and to continue with the train of intuitive thought, this is light type. This is light, and this is light. So, your field card determines what kind of passive leader you have. Really, it's it can go either way of what determines what. And then, you have your first territory card, which will be the same type as your passive leader. Then, you take the different movement cost tokens on your half of the board, the three rows closest to you, and you set them up according to the diagram on the bottom of the field card. After that, you set up with your kingpin in the center of the base board in accordance with the top diagram of the field card. As you can see, I have several power tokens to desig are used to designate the mirror tiles. And then, of course, below this territory card are your other two territory cards, which are placed face down until you unlock them. Then you have your six legion pieces or pawns remember with one as the first one and six as the last one next you have your main play mat with your six legion zones and your six artifact zones you have your active leader with a token placed on the number one to indicate its level, along with the token on, again, the one to indicate the level of the passive leader, along with the number one for its HP, which should actually be at two. <laughs> Sorry about that. Technically, because it's doubled whatever level you're at. However, due to the effects of various cards, you can lose or gain health, so that's why I don't just have multiples of two. And then of course here, you have your legendary monster. If you recall from the deck that I showcased in a previous video, this was the designated legendary monster, Gubio. I'm just going to place that like that, because it's face down because you don't have the necessary materials to use it that and you don't want your opponent to figure out what monster you are using. Then we have our resource deck right here and our unit deck below it. Over here will be our graveyard and here will be our discard pile. Just to move that out of the way. Now, so just quickly run through that again. You got your three cards for leaders, field cards. You set up the field according to the field card and the base also according to the field card. You have your territory cards, you have your resource deck, and you have your unit deck. And then of course, your play mat. So, let's begin. First, you have to determine who is going to go first or who is going to go second? Of course.
course. So let's just say that I am going to go first. Sorry, as I just quickly adjust this. The first thing that you're going to do is to draw from a combination of cards from your resource and or unit deck. And this, or the total number of cards that you draw, will equal 5 plus 1 to get you to 6. So, because it's for the draw phase. So let's see, I will do 3 cards, or sorry, 4 cards, from my unit deck, 1 from my resource deck, and let's see, one more from the resource deck. To just show you my hand, I have three ice trolls because I didn't shuffle this. When you start a game you have to shuffle, but just to save time, I didn't. I have a mist spy, and I have two constructs, the mountain and the lighthouse. Now on your first turn you're not going to be able to summon anything, usually due to the fact that your starting production is only going to be two power tokens. If you recall your power tokens are based off of how much or what level your passive leader is all the way over here. Um, again, he's just at level one so we only get two tokens because two times one is two. So we get these two tokens. What I'm going to do here is take these two tokens, place them on the territory card, they become light type. Um, again, you can't really summon anything because the cost is higher than two. So I will use these two tokens to level up either my active or passive leader. Uh, what I'm going to do is level up my passive leader, so I spend the two tokens, put them in the bank, and I move this to the number two, and this to the number four, for the passive leader. Active leader will just stay at one for the moment. And now next turn, my passive leader will produce four tokens instead of just two. And since I don't have any units, I don't really have any orders to carry out, but again, orders are indicated in this little corner of the card, and you add up the total amount of orders that you have to determine how many orders you ha can use during your turn. This has three. This has four, so that's seven. But I don't really have uh, anything to order. And again, orders are used for things like summoning or moving, you know, like your pawn, or attacking or countering, etc. And yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for your first turn. Next, your opponent's going to go. Of course, they would have already had their half of the board set up. They would have had their territory cards here, their kingpin, movement cost tokens, all that jazz. But for now, we're going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Don't, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay awesome. This is uh, Night Phoenix tuning out.